Hi, this is Will from Pedalboards of Doom here with Stu. Hello, SM. Can we just take a look through your range yeah, of beautiful sure. handmade instruments, man? Yeah, so I've got I've got a few of the models I offer. Unfortunately, there's a headless missing, but essentially I started off with uh, the Super Strat, which was the Orpheus model. Yeah. Um, Do you want to grab that quick? Yeah. There's, there's, there's a couple. This one, forgive me, I'm still setting up, but we got a couple, but they they were the first kind of the guitar I did. Uh, obviously, a Super Strat um, designed for anyone who likes Super Strats. Uh, everything is handmade by me and my workshop uh, in the UK, in Surrey. Um, and on the bill form, I've got on the website, I've got a bill form where you can essentially select any wood options or pickup options or whatever they are. They come standard with like bare knuckles and hip shot, hip shot tuners or spurs all. So the spec, the spec starts crazy high as it is. Um, so after that model, I launched the iCorp. I basically went, I went to Orpheus, we all know about the legend of the Orpheus, the guy that uh, went down to the gates of hell and played the god devil yeah. dog to sleep, only to fuck it up by looking back at his like, fitness, it's, you know. So once so I got there, I went to Icon, because I kind of saw that as more of a kind of a, you know, it's not, but more of a shredder's guitar. So Icor basically means the fluid that runs through the veins of gods. And I was like, that's more like a riffy kind of... Oh, that's hella metal, man. Yeah. yeah. So metal. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go fucking all out of the names. I'm yeah. not just gonna use numbers, you know? So that's obviously based on like a Jazz Jagmaster. Um, again, there's a lot of contouring on this because of the offset body to make sure it fits well on you. So you've got a knee car, so it sits well on there. This obviously is pulled over from the Orpheus. The jack doesn't go there though, because when you play in a classical position, that locks onto your inner thigh. So with an offset body, although it's really balanced, uh, and they're chambered, these ones are. Uh, it sits really nicely balanced on the, on, on the body. Um, this one comes with bare knuckle black dogs. Again, you've got a hip shot bitch, spurs all American knocker tuners. You've got a Warhammer uh, Walnut body. So that's like the Icon model. An Icon can also come in what I call an adult's guitar. You know, for the pipe and slippers. It's such a beautiful look on that one. Sometimes you just want to roll down the tone knob and yeah. fucking get funky. Yeah, we were saying before we were rolling that this is like the love child of an LP type and a, yeah. you know, yeah. JM sort of type yeah, of guitar. Um, yeah, that's, you know, that's for the grown ups, you yeah. know. Uh, this is nice. So that obviously comes to It's such a unique shape as well. You never usually see these offsets. That's, uh, that's when you get your template, bit of tracing paper and a pencil and you go crazy until you find something that works. Like, yeah, that works! Um, but yeah, so that's got a quilted back, a quilted front. Obviously it's, it's a mahogany body. That's obviously not obvious, but it is a mahogany body. It's got a central uh, core, because obviously some some holidays can be just a rib and it can be a true some holidays. It's a solid core that works great for like resonance and tone. Uh, I was conscious when I built this one that being double maple, it might be a little bit bright. So. I didn't go all the way through, made a rib, I left like a quarter inch of mahogany on the back, so just to balance out so much front of gap maple. It's got mahogany neck, nice and simple on that one. Uh, again, bare knuckles, that one's a black dog. Uh, next, I did, because I'm stuck in, in a Greek problem now, right? So there's a headless model we haven't got here, there's petrichor, which means the smell of the earth after it's rained, which I think is very emotive, I think that's a cool name, it makes somebody think. So I was doing my take on a telly, and I called it the Triti, which just means Tuesday in Greek, which I thought was quite funny. It would work out that basically I've called a telly Tuesday, you know, to get on the old hashtag game. But obviously it's really hard when you're, to take such an iconic classic instrument and try to, yeah, you can never say you can make it better, can you? it's a hard thing to do, but yeah, you can do to, something different. Yeah, to try to kind of take it a different direction. So what I decided to do is I, I really slimmed down the horn when I tried to be critical, which I appreciate, I could be easily cussed here. You know, uh, just trying to be great. I was like, potentially, possibly the lower horn is quite chunky on the telly. So I slimmed that down. I nipped in here to make sure these kind of have a good balance to each other. Uh, I also changed the headstock shape slightly. I've got like an inlay of the veneer there. Uh, I pushed where the neck, normally the telly neck will come like that. So I pushed this back up here so you've got more space in your hand. I did a nice glue as well so it sits there when you're. Down nice below, like a stop, and yeah, you slide all the way up. Again, a, a real, you know, 
the use of a better word, which I think is a terrible word, but like an all-access joint, you know, nicking it off our American Jackson and whatever friends, but they work, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a beautiful heel joint, you're up there, it's, you can play it. The good ones are seamless, where you just start playing lead and you're like, oh, there's nothing there on my hand. Uh, yeah, so yeah. obviously taken away, they're taken away here as well, so it's up there. Again, you've got subtle knee carve. I don't know if you've ever played, if you've never played a knee carve guitar, try one out, man. It like it pulls it in so nice. It sits so close to the body. It's so balanced, and obviously a good belly carve as well because you know food's good. Yeah. Yeah, and that that's a killer instrument. Like people are buzzing off this one. Again, it's uh, they're all made by hand, custom order. Um, the way it normally works, obviously, is people go on the website, they look at the build form they decide which model they want to go for and they, they spec a guitar of their dreams which is awesome. Um, I've currently got 20% off in 2009, 19, 19. Uh, which is great. Uh, my, ba my base price is started at like 1,888 but normally once people spec them they come in around 2,122 but because I'm on like such a, a time like 11-12 months uh, people just pay monthly installments, so like two, yeah. three hundred pounds a month, which is nice and easy. It's a great feature that, like, for you as a business, not a lot of small builders are doing something like that, which is very accessible for a lot of yeah, players. Yeah, exactly. The thought process is, oh, I really want a custom handmade guitar. Oh shit, it's expensive. Okay, that's more manageable, you know. And you know, it's just me in my workshop. If your boiler breaks down one month, don't give me my monthly installment. So the world's not going to end. You know, I'm building for like 20 or 30 guys. It's no problem. And it'll just take a month longer, you know? So that's what we're doing. But on the thought of like, oh, I've got 20% off, obviously one day that's going to end. And so... To act now. Yeah. Well, to counteract that, I'm launching this range. This is a new office model, but it's a new range. It's called the Road Crew range. And essentially the thought process was, it would be great to have a handmade UK instrument, but at a lower price point. Because once the, once the discount goes, and you're like in mid twos, wouldn't it be great to offer people something a little bit more affordable, but still handmade in the UK. So like all my guitars, I've got a dual truss rod, two carbon fiber fillets, so you've got a really stable neck. Um, these are gonna come out in batches. So for example, the first batch you're gonna do, I'm gonna do this, it's a one piece swamp patch body, and it's just this awesome satin open pore black finish. You've got a quarter sewn roasted maple neck. Um, you've got Jessica silver nickel frets rather than stainless that I often use. You've still got a hip shot bridge hip shot open gear tuners which are just stunning they're just such a lovely detail on that on those tuners it's such a great which standard is. of an instrument it doesn't yeah. seem like in trying to compromise i don't think you have i think you've yeah, made and you've, got, you've got the bare knuckle boot camps and with them you will be able to choose the options will be on these although they'll be stock you'll be able to choose which of the boot camps you want and because it's making by hand you can either have regular dots or you can have offset dots yep. so all these kind of things uh, and they're going to be coming out at 1500 that is such a great price yeah. for a handmade UK instrument. Handmade UK instrument, yeah. and it's designed so, you know, it's called, you know, it's, it's called Road Creek because it's designed to be, if you're gigging lots, if you're touring lots, you've got something that you can depend on. Like, that neck's not going to move, it's raised to maple, it's reinforced. It's just tone, man. It's just tone handmade for a really cracking price. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for showing yeah. us through your range. We really no appreciate worries, it. Man. Awesome. Thank you, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.